This is something I've I've actually had uh, around for a long time. It's uh, it's something we do in the summer times. Uh, I take my kids out. We have a little bit of a session on the lake. We don't have a real boat, but we have a toy boat, and it's just as much fun. And the fun lasts for about 20 minutes until the battery goes flat but usually with these little boats what tends to happen is when they bring this into the dock to the to the water's edge it, they kind of uh, come in a little bit too quick I think and the rudder tends to snap off these if you're not really careful and of course you know kids being kids it's one of those things that happen and the boat doesn't drive very well after the rudder is broken because we tried to use it without a rudder and it just doesn't turn very well after that. So I had to make a new one or try to find a replacement and obviously it's such a small little thing you'd think that there'd be plenty of replacement parts out there but there isn't. So here we are. I've made a 3D printed version of this rudder. It's free to download and it's compatible with probably all of these Century two horse boats. They're Chinese manufactured boats so I think there'll probably be lots of different names for the same boat. Um, this is the rudder. As you can see this one is 3D printed because yes they did break the rudder again and the um the old one the old one was actually 3d printed as well on this one um i've had it a long time and they've broken it every time they've gone on the lake really so stick your screwdriver in there to get it out and when you get it out you'll see that it's still attached to the uh, rudder control or the rudder the uh, tuner and all we really want to do is basically put the new one in but before we do that, it's important, I think, to uh, thread the the tube with the screwdriver because sometimes putting the screws into these things can, can snap them because sometimes there's a, a blob or something, an imperfection or something like that. And it's, uh, it's always, I think, good to try and tap the inside of that. Um, but there you can see that's where the top of the rudder will fit in. It's got to fit into that on the other side. So it's really easy to do. I mean, once you've printed this out, um, it's a very simple thing. But because it's thin plastic, it, you know, it, it will be prone to breaking uh, every now and again. So just place it, place it underneath, and then turn it round. Place the white um, selector and then just screw it into place. It should be easy to start since you, you know, we um, kind of threaded that to begin with, but it's a really easy thing to do. But it's a pain having to do it. They could have designed this uh, slightly better, I think, because it's a fantastic little toy and it's just so annoying when something like this happens. So if you've got one of these, head over to the Thingiverse account, download the part, and get back on that lake. Have some fun. It lasts for about 20 minutes on the, uh, the battery, so I'm probably going to make a new battery for it at some point, a longer lasting lithium battery perhaps. And um, it's really, really good at scaring paddle boarders. They uh, they really don't like these things. And if you can see from that really dodgy bad video, it's a little Roblox character that's been sellotaped onto the seat there. And there we are. There are the kids. The end of the summer. The end of the day. 
what better thing to do than blast around with a boat.